This is Will Hess, the will of the people. I'm running for California State Assembly here in the 50th district. Let's define the district first. That is Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Pacific Palisades, Bel Air, Brentwood, Malibu, part of Agora Hills, Thousand Oaks, uh, some of Venice, Hancock Park, Mid Wilshire, Topanga Canyon. It's pretty large geographically. What I see as the number one problem that we face in all of these communities is the growing homeless crisis. Uh, I'm on the November ballot as the opposition to Richard Bloom, who is the incumbent. We're both Democrats. I consider myself a moderate Democrat. If you agree with me that homelessness is a major issue in the Los Angeles County area, then you should vote for someone who wants to tackle that problem head on and address it. Right now in Los Angeles, this is the epicenter for the homeless problem in America. There's over half a million homeless people sleeping on the streets tonight in America. LA County, 65,000, last number I saw. If it can be fixed here, it'll pave the way to fix it nationwide. That's my main issue that I'm running on. And I was just doing some research here on Bloom. Looks like in his eight years as state assemblyman, he has voted on several hundred bills. Some he's authored, some he's co-authored. If you look through the hundreds of bills that he's been involved, that he voted yay on, there's nothing in there about the homeless. Nothing. And this is a crisis. I'll tell you what I did see. Protection for Migratory Birds, AB 454. Wonderful. AB 1254, Protecting the Bobcats. Okay. SB 839 was to protect the orca whales. I like animals, but my question, I guess, can't you do things for humans as well as animals? Uh, here's something for people. Felons to serve on juries. Mm, that's a good one. That is SB 310. Here's AB 4, medical benefits for undocumented immigrants. Well, how about we get medical benefits for America's homeless sleeping on the street? You know, there's, there's only so many hours in a day, and there's only so much work that a state assemblyman can do. So you can't waste your time on things that don't help the people. To be an informed voter as we approach November 3rd, you really have to take this into account and understand that he's been in office eight years. He's voted on hundreds of bills. Not one has ever been in regards to the homeless problem that I've seen. What I would like to do to address the issue if elected is to build a facility, a campus, do similar to the way uh, the state of California years ago, 100 years ago, they founded UCLA by granting land to build a campus. So why can't we do the same thing? We can build a facility, offer the homeless people three hots and a cot, offer them medical care, offer them social services to either A, help them find uh, a job or uh, affordable housing to get them back up on their feet essentially uh, if they can be rehabilitated uh, to reach out to family and friends that they might have fallen out and out of touch with that don't know that they are in this position and to have maybe have them help you know get them back up on their feet that's one option with the people that are rehabilitatable and one hard fact about this whole thing is there are a lot of homeless people on the streets of Los Angeles that are not rehabilitatable. Some of them are going to have mental issues. We know that. A lot of them will have mental issues and will not be rehabilitatable. Is that a word? Yeah. They are not rehabilitatable. And that is sad, but it is a truth that we just have to accept and they have to go somewhere, they have to get off the street. Because with the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, there's homeless people dying in the streets uh, on a regular basis in Los Angeles anyway. But if we're so concerned about safety and health for the entire district, viruses and bacteria can be, you know, have outbreaks amongst the homeless encampments and spread to the other citizens just as easily as, you know, anybody else. Well, now we're in a different time where everything changed after COVID and we have to be more cognizant of our, our health and stand six feet apart and social distance and all this. Well, you know, just on a daily basis, when I get up and I leave my house and I go five miles to work and I, you know, come back, 
I easily passed 40 or 50 homeless people. Part of this campus that I'm envisioning can be a place for those types that we know can't function in everyday regular society and won't be able to get back up on their feet and get out on the street. But you know what? It goes a long way just to get them out of the elements, whether it's the rain or it's the extreme heat of the summer or it's the, you know, the fog or whatever. It's just getting them out of the elements and treating them more humanely. Getting them in a facility like this will go a long way. Before getting into, you know, where that would be and what that would look like, just remember one thing. The willpower was there to build Sophie Stadium down in Inglewood, which from what I've read is supposed to hold 104,000 fans for the NFL games coming up. It's gonna open up next year and it's gonna be the new home of the uh, LA Chargers and the LA Raiders. Well, if, if you got the willpower for that, how about let's, as a society, let's get the willpower to build a campus that holds 100,000 homeless people and take control of the homeless problem in LA County. If you think this is a major issue, which everybody I've met, I've gone door to door to over 5,000 houses, in neighborhoods all around the district, handing out postcards and flyers and door hangers and talking to people. And everybody agrees this is a major issue. So if you think this is a major issue, why would you vote for a guy who hasn't done anything in the last eight years? Do you think he's gonna do something in the next two years? I don't think he's gonna do anything. He's not addressed the problem. It's like he's asleep at the wheel. This is the biggest issue that LA County faces and he's doing nothing about it. That. I, I think is incompetence. Not that he's not a lifelong career politician. He's been there for 30 years. He was the former mayor of Santa Monica. He was a city councilman in Santa Monica. He's been around, He's you know, but he's one of those career politicians, which I don't agree with. Uh, I, I'm all for term limits. We've got our own problems, major crisis problems right here in Los Angeles County, namely homeless and affordable housing. Now, they kind of feed into each other because Homeless is growing because people can't afford housing. My point is we shouldn't even be worried about these types of issues if we would just handle the homeless problem. But it all starts with building a facility, a campus that you could take them to and give them the option of getting off the street. This is my primary issue. There are some other sub issues. I have an initiative that calls for planting a million trees and flowers throughout the district because I think that the more greenery and the more color we have, it just makes the district uh, a more beautiful place to live in. If you agree with me that the homeless problem in Los Angeles County is a major concern, then you want to vote for a guy that will do something about it. That's at least telling you right now to your face, I'm going to address this issue because the other guy is not. So if we can agree on that, that this needs to be at the forefront, then I need your vote in November. We're sort of at a point now where if we do nothing, the current numbers for homelessness, uh, the last numbers I, I read was we're at 151,000 in California. Uh, you know, what if a year from now we're talking 250 or 300,000? It's not good. We have to put leaders in those offices right now which are going to address this problem. Our democracy, our republic depends on the premise of people getting involved by voting and if they don't get involved then bad choices bad candidates get those seats and you know a lot of them do nothing for the people this is hundreds of bills he's been in there for eight years hundreds of bills that he's voted yay or nay on okay i can't find one that has anything to do with the homeless problem. He helped the animals before he helped humans. And then when he did help humans, it was illegal immigrants and it was uh, felons. Personally, I don't think they're addressing the problem because I don't think they wanna fix the problem. Issues are always fixed at the local level. That's the very spirit of America. Thank you very much. Go to my website, willhess.org. Vote for Will, the will of the people. Will Hess, Super Tuesday, November 3rd. Today we're here in Brentwood, California. We're on the western side of the VA facility here. Uh, as you can see behind me, this is one of the largest encampments of homeless people in West Los Angeles. Most of these people are vets. They say 25% of the people living on the streets in LA County 
are veterans. So if you elect me to be your state assemblyman, I will reach out to the federal government uh, to help LA County get homeless people off the streets. So that could alleviate 25% of the problem right there, just working with the federal government with one common goal, to get Americans health care and get them off the streets. Somebody needs to step to the forefront and deal with it. encampment in District 50. This is as bad as it has ever gotten. So I couldn't tell you why the current state assemblyman is not doing anything to fix this. A vote for Will Hess this November 3rd is the first step in tackling the homeless problem in Los Angeles. Look at that. It goes down as far as the eye can see. homeless, many living in tents, spreading virus, spreading disease. This is now a health crisis. We need to take care of this. I'm here at the corner of Sunset and La Brea. This is one of the homeless encampments here in District 50. The homeless problem has gotten out of control. And if you vote for me this November, I'll make it my main People don't have to live like this. You know? Where are they going to the restroom? You think of it's very easy for them to catch disease or virus. If we're so concerned about covering our face with face mask and not spreading the virus, it's bacteria. They just had an outbreak in downtown Los Angeles six months ago of typhus. That's a medieval disease. This building back here is the old Jim Henson Studios where they created the Muppets. Miss Piggy and Kermit, this is, this is it right here. How crazy is that? Okay. Basics such as trash pickup, sweeping of the gutters, the cleaning of the sidewalks. I mean, this is not just a issue of homelessness. This is also a health issue because Homeless people spread viruses and disease just as easy as you and I. Viruses don't distinguish from one person that's homeless and one that has a home. So what I think is if we can start here, plant the flag here, and turn it around here, the rest of California will follow what we do in L.A. County. The rest of the nation will follow what we do in California. I ask for you to vote for me this November 3rd.